Hey guys, well I just finished making those tortillas, the corn tortillas, and I thought, you know, I got the cream caca iron out. Let's make cream caca. It's been a long time, and if I remember right, it's kind of labor intensive, but um, eh, it might be fun. It'll be a good thing to take to my sons when we go see that baby. Um, what you do, and I'll go through the steps, but it has, when you take the, the uh, little cookie thing out, you have to roll it around a cone. Well, of course, I've lost the cone. So I've got all these different kind of cone-shaped devices here. I'm going to try, I mean, I've got the handle to our knife sharpener, the handle to my potato masher, the handle to a grater, and I've even got my turkey baster. And we'll just see what happens. And if it doesn't turn out very well, we may have some odd-shaped cream caca. But I'm going to get my camera positioned and show you what I've done so far. Okay, this is a really pretty easy recipe. And what I did is I just cut off the recipes off the box, and you can look these up online. I don't care for lemon, so I'm going to use almond. But I've got three beaten eggs in this bowl. It calls for a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of melted butter, a half a cup of flour, and a teaspoon of flavoring. So, um, let's start putting in some of this and getting it mixed in. And actually, once the butter cools down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put the flour and sugar in and start mixing those up. And now I'll put the butter in. I don't want to cook those eggs. And it calls for a teaspoon of flavoring. Oop, okay. That might be closer to a teaspoon and a half, but who cares? Okay, now I'm just gonna. So did you uh, cooks notice the mistake I made? I'm gonna have to beat this a lot harder. I should have creamed my sugar and uh, eggs together first. But I was so busy watching Judge Judy on uh, Judge Judy videos that I didn't read the recipe. Now, normally it wouldn't be this bright yellow, but you know why mine is, it's because of those nice farm fresh eggs. So, I've got this mixed up pretty good. And we'll get the kumkaka iron set up. Okay, how you get your iron ready is you put it over a medium heat, and this little hot tamale that's hot and you just rotate it back and forth to make sure it's good and hot on both sides. Okay, I got my iron ready. I'm gonna take a spoonful of the batter. I'm making a bigger mess on the outside, I think. And you just kinda have to play with the amount that you put in until you get it figured out. You know you have too much if it spills out. And then, you just keep rotating. It doesn't take long. Here's one that I did already. I like to burn my hand off there. Just keep turning it back and forth until it's golden brown. Not yet figured out how I'm going to handle these things because they are hot. Okay, come off like this. Then you roll it. I don't know how well I can do it. It is so hot. Roll it. And you put it on a wire rack, seam side down. And this one is already crispy. It doesn't take long, you gotta work fast. It would be nice to have a couple of us. 
but um, I think I can get a technique going. I'll finish off, um, get this finished off, and I'll come back and show you what I'm I got. I'm going to show you what happens if you put too much in. It oozes out the side, and actually your little cookie thing ends up too thick because you want them just really thin. And I tell you what, I've been burning my hands. So I've decided, forget it, I'm just going to roll them up kind of like you do a, a tamale. Not a tamale, a, a burrito. I just take them like a taco shell. I just rolled it up like this. And I've got them sitting over there on a wire rack cooling. And I put too much in again. It just takes a lot of trial and error to figure out exactly how much batter to put in. And I gotta tell you guys, these are just so light and crispy. Um, probably what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle a little powdered sugar on the top and that'll be good. Okay, this is part of what I have. This is a majority of them. But I wanted to show you some of the things where I went wrong. And you Scandinavian folk, don't be too hard on me. Um, I've only made them a few times, and it's been over 30 years since I did it. And um, it was actually kind of fun. But see how this one turned out. I didn't get it rolled quick enough. I've got some more over there. Some are just crumbling apart. But if you were going to serve it with the uh, uh, whipped cream and like strawberries, you would fill the cone with whipped cream. And um, usually what I saw, and again, I, I don't know everything you can do, is they just had strawberries on the top, on the ends. So the best part is, let me go get some of the flopped ones and I'll show you. Okay, this is what's gonna happen if you don't get them rolled right away. You've gotta literally, you know, within 20 seconds after you get them off that, out of the uh, iron, cream cocker iron, you really need to get them rolled. They taste just as good, rolled or flat. But what I like about these, this one's probably just a little bit too golden brown, but all shucks, we're gonna have to eat that and not share it, huh? But these are very light, they crumble easily light and crispy. I don't know if you can hear that, but they literally just melt in your mouth. And, you know, can't be that many calories, can it? You know, maybe a tablespoon of this batter in each one. But, just wanted to show you that krumkaka. Something new I learned to cook while I lived in Minnesota. And it just something fun to do. One of these days I'd like to try cannolis. I have a feeling they're along this same line. Um, but anyway, today's experiment, cream caca, and earlier we did corn tortillas. See you later, guys.